This colossus is the most visible and highest peak on the eastern shore of the Hudson River Valley. It's 1,650 feet above. That's all. <laughs> You're huffing and puffing a little bit. I don't feel so bad. I'm also 55. Oh, you look young. <laughs> The mountain with its trails has been a favorite for hikers for years, but our destination wasn't just the mountain. It was what was on top. Last July 3rd, the Chamber of Commerce asked me to take photographs of the fireworks down in Memorial Park. By the time they were done, it was 11 o'clock. So I figured, I had my sleeping bag in the trunk. Let me stay up here and went over to the fire tower. And I slept in the fire tower for the night. The only thing I was afraid of is when you get there, you can see bullet holes in the tower. Oh, that's crazy. The Mount Beacon Fire Tower Restoration Project is a small grassroots organization coordinated by David Rocco. Operating from 1931 to 1987 when it was shut down by its owners, the DEC, it served a very specific function. A place for observation to see of uh, potential fires in the Mount Beacon range. I mean, this is just a simple fire tower, but there was probably 12 or 14 people that spent hours on end that was their living livelihood to protect this area, and they need to not be forgotten. Their history has to be uh, passed on to future generations. The tower sits 60 feet atop the peak of Mount Beacon, which is 1,650 feet above sea level. This creates a natural balcony view of the entire Hudson Valley and Highlands from over 1,700 feet. A group of local residents was informed that they would knock the tower down and they said, look, we could restore the tower and turn it into like a tourist destination. The hardest part of the restoration project is getting the volunteers to the top of the mountain to do the work. And I can feel their pain. It's worth it. When you get up there, you see what I'm saying. So that's why progress is probably slower than usual. David was also instrumental in the walkway over the Hudson restoration project in 2009. We replaced all the steps and the landings, the landings are the material we took from the Poughkeepsie Railroad Bridge. Well, everything's falling in place now because of the walkway. So it's kind of cool where you got a piece of history from one uh, Hudson Valley iconic landmark to another one. The lower three levels are around 20 feet or longer. They're about 65 pounds each. I had to rent a truck and bring the material from a steel manufacturer in upstate New York. You only get as far as the communications towers. From there, it was either to walk it over or some sort of special vehicle. And although the tower is closed for public use during the restoration, hikers are not discouraged from climbing to the peak to catch a glimpse of history and respect for nature. So what about like Boy Scouts or Girl Scouts or anything ever come up here and clean, clean up the mountain or something like that? I mean, someone's got to take care of it, otherwise it's just going to build up, right, at some point. Well, they have you to can... also police themselves. There's all these different groups come up there. There's hiking clubs that come up here. And they you know, they bring their stuff in, they bring their stuff out. The steps are done, the landings are done, and now we're in the midst of uh, the third phase, which is to change the cross bracing on the tower. And now we're waiting to get the crews back together again and you know, hopefully get this done uh, by the end of this year. We're making the climb to the top of the Beacon Fire Tower. You're almost there. This was a pretty big deal for me because I had to overcome a lifelong fear of heights. You need me to come back down? Or falling. Just taking it slow. Either way, everyone gets to watch. Yeah. You're almost there. It's all the little creeks that give it its historical yeah. status. So. We made it. Congratulations. I think I was going to make it, but I made it. Top of the Beacon Fire Tower. <laughs> My greatest achievement, I think, other than quitting smoking so far. Big challenge, big accomplishment. Yeah. And after challenging myself to race to the peak, I challenge anyone to climb to the top, refresh yourself with some history, and soak up the best view in the entire Hudson River Valley. Oh, yeah. People that make the hike will find out it's well worth it. <laughs>